All right, you guys, this is definitely one of the best VPX tables, and it's got a pup pack going on and all kinds of good stuff. So, the thing is, though, to the untrained eye, it may look great, but if we look right here, that's supposed to be the edge of the table, like the top of the side rail. That's great and everything, but I have my own side rail right here. And sometimes there's like walls on it, but my thing's about an inch down. So I like to just, anyway, you'll see what I'm saying. So I'm going to show you how to adjust this. So we're, get, we're going to hit F12. I only got one hand, so I got to pause this for a second. All right, on my, my keyboard, I had to hit function F12. And it brought up this little menu. So if I hit the flipper button or shift, it's going to take me sideways. As long as I'm on that top right there. And so the first thing I want to do is this is a Samsung G7. So I'm going to switch this from Reinhardt. And I'm going to press control or magna save to go up and down. So I'm going to press control and that's going to take me down to the tone mapper. And then I'm going to back it up and watch what happens when I change it. Look how much better it is. Change it back. It's kind of washed out. To the untrained eye, you wouldn't see, but when I change it to filmic, it just gets way richer. And it looks more like an OLED. That's the old one and new. So that's the first thing I do is I change that to filmic. And then I usually don't mess with the day night, but if your table's a little dark, you can just raise the day and night right there. But I'm not messing with that, so I'm going to go. You have to actually hit 1 to save it. It's your start button. Hit 1, you're saving it. Don't hit anything until that's gone. And then, for some reason, I need to, when I do that, I have to exit out. And then I have to load the game again. And then, I'm not only checking it, but it seems like when I don't do that, sometimes my settings don't stay. When I do do that, they always do. That was just one of my settings, so I'm going to hit function F12 again, and I want to go ahead and also, uh, I'm not sure how my top is looking right there, but I'm going to stretch my sides out. So your side to side is Y, so I'm going to go down to, when you first hit this right here, it highlights them all, and then you have to hit it one more time, and then I'll do the individual ones. So, first I'm going to do my Y, and then when I hit my flipper button and my shift button, it's just going to stretch that out, like that. But you can see that it's not quite even, so when your line is like, there's a little bit of space here and a lot of space up there, and you want to square it up, that's your incline. So we're going to go back over here, I'm going to control up to my inclination, and then what you do is you just... Kind of look, there's an edge right there. And I'll show you. I'm just going to like. Oh. I hit the enter button. Hold on. So if you screw something up, you just have to exit out of the table. And then go back in and start all over. Also, if you do your plunger button. Or whatever your plunger button is on the keyboard. That will restore the default. So. You can kind of see how I got a line I can look at right there. Let me just look over here. This one's a little more obvious. So we're going to square that up by hitting the inclination. So that's tipping us back and forth. And sorry, I hit the wrong thing. And so I can actually kind of square it up like that, see? And let me look at that. Looks pretty good with the edge of my table. I'm not worried about that's like my sidewall or my, you know, where you get side art and stuff. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to go almost all the way to the edge. And the same over here. Almost all the way. But, you know, I want to let my ramp and stuff or my uh, wire form show. But, like, all this is going to disappear. So now that I kind of squared it up, I'm ready to go down to my Y again. Y scale is going to go from size, so I'm going to hit that. Here we go. There it is. And so, in this case, I'm going to let my wire form go off the screen, and then I'm going to 
do an offset to shift my screen over a little bit. So let's see here. Yeah, it looks good. Maybe back a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to go down to my Y offset. And then shift this over a little bit. Resulting in my guy over here being just about perfect. Yeah, looking good. So you get a little more perfect that if you really want to. Now I'm going to look at up here and down here. So you don't even know where this goes until you kind of shrink it up and look. So that's going to be our X. So we're going to go to our X scale. Alright, and now I'll show you the bottom here. That's making it bigger. And if I do my other flipper button okay so we were pretty much there and then up at the top it looks like we were pretty much there too there's a wall up here see the top of the castle was cut up all right hold on i just hit this enter button so i need to start over now there's what i was talking about you guys there's a whole lock bar under here but of course we're going to stretch it all the way down to the bottom right there so just give me one second i'm going to get us back to where we were so I'm doing my X scale to get to the top and bottom right here. Hold on. And you can see I can actually go right to the bottom. Get it really, really exact. So that's all trimmed out right there. All down the side. My wire forms are perfect. And I think my top's, my top's pretty much perfect too. So we just totally improved this game. We got no more weird angles. Let me just get this up. So I'm just going to press function F12. Oh, actually, I have to press 1 to save it. almost forgot. Oh, hold on. I hit it twice. Hit it 1 to save it. And then I'm actually going to go after that disappears. Then you'll exit and enter. So yeah, we just went from having a weird angle to now it looks like this perfectly to the edges of my, look at that, <laughs> to the edges of my s screen right here. Boom. So that's how you do your POV right there. Function F12, once the game's loaded, doesn't matter if it's playing or something. And yeah, then shift left and right to adjust your values and control left and right to go through the values. So anyway, I'm going through, I got about 200 games on this baby. <laughs> I'm about halfway through and I'm adjusting my POV for all of these. But then if I give my game to a buddy, put it on his machine, then if I get the POV file in there, it should be pretty much close. It's not gonna have any weird angles. You might have to adjust a little bit for his screen. You know, if you got an OLED or something, but yeah. Anyway, that's how you do it.